Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John's report is for the 19th. And we'll start with scrolling through some of the numbers. Again, right on target with the buy signals that we had been receiving. Everything was looking good. Market performed accordingly. No real shock, I don't think. Um, it starts to get a little carried away at times. What happens is once it starts to build in that momentum, shorts break away from it, and boom, you get a little bit more of an exacerbated move to the upside. Uh, we look at some of the high flyers here. Kind of a mixed bag, interestingly enough, uh, even despite the um, the bullish pop that took place. So fit well within the 50K. It was also the crossover break of the green above the cyan, as well as cyan breaking well below red and white. Yes, we are overbought, so we will be retracing these lows again. Um, worth pointing out, is it critical information at this particular point? It's interesting because, let me just pop up the MBI Opus, because we get a Starhawk at the close right there. So not only did it take the gain from the Iron Hawk, boom, that went through, it also initiated a new one. And we knew that we were looking for somewhere around that uh, 37. We ended up just kept going. Typically what I'll do in that particular case when you get there is you just set a stop and you just let it continue to move. If it hits your stop, great. If not, you get a little bonus of it. We can go ahead and see where we're at. Performance report should be just shy of the um, equity highs for it. I think it's just got a little bit more to go to break out to a new one. So not bad all in all. I think we'll slide that over here. Perfect. So that looks good. 50K, of course. Had its buys back over here. Plenty of other opportunities to enter as it retraced off the red. No surprise with that. And then a little breakout. We can see the stop is already beginning to develop here and will start to rise. And we can take a look at the performance report on this as we're at equity highs. And this current trade is already up about another 25. So, I mean, this will be a huge uh, month in particular, which is so funny because you know, everyone's always looking, it may go away. But the reality is um, this month will be, you know, enormous return. I mean, you can see just for the year, uh, just this month alone is going to represent two-thirds of the gain. Um, on that setup, and we're going to be up another 40% here off of the previous years, near 300%. So that makes that 39% even that much more impressive because it uh, is coming off of the increased build. And when this originally started with just, you know, the 50,000, um, it's all that was needed for the setup, and it never really went negative at any point in its trade. Just fine. We're going to look at the intraday and see how that breakout took place because things were kind of stagnant. Nice light over pretty far over here because you'll see at the start of the day it was really just like blah and just cruising along nothing really special taking place and then we started building um both the higher red along and we had the retest of the low on a higher red up pivot there and boom then it started to take off and once that uh, momentum gets going it just accelerates itself so all in all pretty clean um Boring in the sense that you really not a whole lot to do, um, but just keep collecting the wins. I mean, I guess that's the the most difficult aspect of it in some cases. And we'll just keep scrolling through here. We'll get the uh, NQ, same crossover, break out a little bit closer. Got to watch for the um, spider here where the cyan moves back above. Doesn't look like a bit. We're out of the safety zone with the steel for the NASDAQ, so it could be a little bit more volatile there. We did reach, we had a target of 16, 18, 19, and we closed at 16, 18, 18, but we did reach a high of 16, 8, 8, 3, 2, so did take care of the uh, orange dot piece of cake there. But now you can see another uh, sell now. Sometimes those take a day or two to develop. And it's interesting because you still have a much more negative look from the YM than you do from the other ones because you don't even have uh, green of red yet. And you certainly don't have uh, red above the cyan. So potential trouble areas right there. A um, little bit of a recovery in bonds. And there's a beautiful spider developing. I mean, that's the nice, perfect cross as it is. So but we kind of expected that that was going to come back, retrace these lows. We were still seeing rising red, so it wasn't uh, horrible. We just weren't expecting a whole lot of movement from it. Um, just some softness here from oil. 
not going anywhere that was huge in the safety zone. Retrace the lows of this uh, breakout move is potentially likely here. Uh, get pretty close to it the other day. I pretty much met my criteria where you reach at least the um, the open range when you have that kind of a breakout gap. So it was pretty decent from that standpoint. It'll be interesting because if cyan crosses above, we could see a little bit more exacerbated weakness. Then we'd really have to check uh, where our steel ends up for uh, safety purposes. But it's a pretty decent blowout. A um, little pop from the euro there, and you can see that uh, that creates a new buy for the euro. So a little stability developed in there. And um, that rising red, it broke into a new zone. And usually when you get into those new zones, get that little follow through just enough and gold kind of just hovering where it is I mean we've, the red's been holding it up that's got kind of weak so we expected more softness with the cyan still above um, be interesting to see if we get a little movement closer because now you have a much better move here with the um, extreme histogram dipping to the um, cyan line and then moving up so I would expect a little bit more follow through upside target on the orange dot here is 123.63 and obviously have the cyan, so that's suggesting a higher move on the day as well. We had a little follow through with X as it gets um, into that uh, close, almost overbought though, within that pop. And that's where the carry through of a nice day will help some of these a uh, little bit weaker setups, a little bit of commodity improvement there. AIG still doing well because it's had that uh, cyan well, well below the red white. Uh, no objection. I think it passed our target here. We had a 55.49. 55.59 was the close. So piece of cake with that. Again, just not really having any difficult times with any of these reads here so far. Got a little overbought on JCP. This will retest the uh, low coming back to here eventually. Um, not quite there yet. Uh, you're going to need to see the uh, cyan move above. This could happen as early as today on the new setup. And WLT, again, remember, once we saw back over here, the breakdown of the steel getting below the green and then coming back above was the first time we'd had a real buy signal configuration in a normal sort of fashion. And now you can see that continuous red buildup with the steel staying below um, the shirts in the overbought category. But we've had uh, safety zone setups within all of this. So it's been a nice rise for uh, WLT all the way back up to that 550 from the $4 range. Put up uh, some of the alert stocks. They all had uh, fairly decent. Apple, no real issues with there, though we did see the red dot. Amazon, turn around a little bit. We had the uh, cyan break to the higher at the open, uh, as well as green moving and then cyan um, dipping uh, with that steel cross going above. So all those were buy setups in the configuration. And the intraday was actually became very clear. We had dipped down, turn around, give a buy, and then we ended up with some huge candles that just burst through on that. Buy do nothing to even talk about. It's just been a decent little up move. Faz has been holding on nicely. Those configuration we would expect now to see that uh, green get above the red white. Right now, red's been leading this, and uh, not to mention the same with the steel on this uh, major rise after the dip. So, expect we'll carry through with that. Facebook doing just fine. It's just been in the flat zone. We weren't expecting a whole lot of anything from there. Google, we hadn't been too thrilled with. Uh, so, the fact that it turned around after the deep red, we still expect that it's going to come back down and retrace those lows even after it uh, comes back up to test the little peak right there. Doesn't look too healthy. Netflix has been on fire with our setups. Continues to be. That's still very healthy looking. PCLN has been a donkey for a lot of people who thought that it was the end all the be all. But we could see the sell signal from our positive extremes went down, retested it, and now here we are. Um, actually looking at a much more healthy. I mentioned this the other day that it was looking really good with this dip. Back down at the lows on the yellow dot, uh, yellow candle, I mean, on a higher extreme histogram. And starting to progress a little bit. Now you've got the green finally breaking up past the previous high. That's important. The next one will be um, red taking up this uh, kind of like soft peak right here. And you can just look at the value of it was negative 865 uh, for the peak. And you're at negative 10, so it's got a little more work to do on that one. But a green cross above cyan would be the next thing I'm looking for on that to really get a confirmed move to head back up towards the highs. 
Tesla, we ended up with our nice buys from right over here, 203, we marked it, and look at what that did. Piece of cake. And Twitter just been a soft, slow ascent of that red, no, no fading and haul on it. And finally now, you've got green above the uh, cyan and almost about to have uh, cyan dip below the red net for just a continuation move on it. But it's just been a slow, steady. In fact, this is one of those where you just turn the ABM on and you just follow it using that because it's just been a slow, steady, nothing um, really super duper. But what I would be watching right here is I'm expecting that you need to see the red move above the zero. And it's at negative 193. It needs to get above that. Otherwise, you will start to see a little bit more uh, profit taking and a little bit of erratic behavior out of it. So do keep an eye on that from an intraday standpoint. Maybe we'll have another slow day. It's all right. We'll just keep plugging away. Um, for that Starhawk on the daily, again, simple to do your ATR, which let me give you what that ATR is just so you'll know what the number is. Well, you can see right there, 12.55. So 12.55 times your 1.23 gives you the upside target with it. Uh, stop is 2.5 points times that same ATR down below. Um, I would be a little more looking for a discount at any point you can get it off that close because um, we do have the positive extremes and a slight dip of the steel uh, moving lower. So maybe it's possible to catch a little weakness into this, get a little discount. Either way, still a perfect play. Trade well. We'll talk to you later.